Just make curry again. What? I already ate, dude. It's like eight. So? Eight means you ate. If you Wait, eat after I... eight, that ain't eight, it's eaten, you know? I'm, I'm okay with that. No, no you're not. What do you mean? Give me one reason I wouldn't be okay with <clears throat> That's the reason. <laughs> <coughs> Let's all just cough. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just waiting for you to stop so that uh, I can just remove that later. Uh, wait, we didn't even start yet though. Yeah. Or did we? No. Or did we? I don't there know. has been nothing interesting. I, I usually don't know what I'm gonna leave in until I actually start doing this stuff. Well, it won't That's be. fair. Wait, wait, guys. Pause so. for a second. All right. Uh, uh, sure. No, we'll pause. Okay. Shh. Up, down, up, down. All right. Now we sync the audio to nothing. <laughs> Okay, ready. <laughs> right? We can start from there. All right, perfect. Who's hosting today? Who's on first? Oh, uh, so me? Well, who's hosting the call? Me? Then you. Oh, all yeah. right. All right. I didn't know that's how we did it. It's not. Oh. Yo, Arvinder. What? Showdown recording while also doing the podcast? No. Why not? I mean, I've explained all this already. Like, what? playing games while doing the podcast won't work because then we'll just get distracted. No, we won't. <laughs> Yeah, we, do, do you know like what type of people we are? I know oh. what type of person I am. I'm not gonna make assumptions about you guys because you're your own people. I don't think it's right for me to assume. Okay, well, how about this? I think, and I'm going to assume that you would get distracted. That's true. That's a pretty accurate assumption. Yeah. Even though you're not supposed to assume. <laughs> it makes sense, so I'm okay with it. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck you. This is the Lucky Dogs cast. The Lucky Dogs cast. No, don't. You're not supposed to say that. That's like destroying the brand or something. What? <laughs> like saying it wrong. That's just going to make me want to say it more wrong. Hi, All everyone. Right. It's Rooster Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's like maybe against like the law or something. Hey, can't everyone, just say that. it's the fake eye crew. All right. Well, this is a Lucky Dogs cast. And today we have me, Arvinder. Starring the fake cut crew. That was Shashank and Lucas. Call! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Ray was the bird, and then Lucas is the guy who's gonna call. cough a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna He's going cough. to cough a lot. Call! All right. Gonna call! The introductions are over. You don't have to keep calling. <laughs> I'm only gonna cough every time you say a certain word. Cough? No, that, no, that's what it was. Cough? No. Oh. See, I spoiled it too soon, so now he's going to pick a different word. Is but there, we'll have evidence now, and we can go back and look. Y you guys will know what the word really is when you go back and look. All right, well, that, that won't happen for a while. So, Shishang, what did you do this week? Well, right now I'm cleaning my shoes, trying to remove the dirt off them. Do you want me to talk about anything else? Why is there dirt on the shoes? I don't know. It's not my position to judge or ask why. Just to clean. Wait, what do you mean judge? Who, who are you judging? Yourself? Yeah, I guess. Alright, so what did you do this week? Anything at all? How is it that the only thing I, you can think of is <laughs> shoes? Alright, well, actually I did a lot. Um, so my cousin got engaged. I did that. It Wait, was you, you got your cousin engaged? You did no. your cousin's engagement? I'm confused here. I went to my cousin's engagement. That's a thing? You can go to someone's engagement? So in India, right? Okay. Weddings are a huge thing. Yes, so I've heard. I, actually, so like the engagement, like when you propose, right, the next week you actually codify your marriage by law. But you don't actually do any of the like the fancy stuff, like the wedding stuff, because that takes money, right? So, okay. but the engagement where you codify it into law, that requires its own ceremony in India. And then after that, you have the wedding in like a few months. So they're actually technically married right now. But huh. they You mean like married in like the legal sense? Yeah. Oh. But the actual wedding, which is going to be like 10 times bigger, isn't going to be until February. That being said, so I went to this one. It was kind of funny. Like, they had a priest and stuff there, and there was a lot of photos. Wait, stuff. what kind of priest? It was like some Hindu priest. Don't they have a name for those guys? Well, I don't know. Shouldn't you know? Yeah, what? you know, like how there's like priests and rabbis and like stuff like that. Isn't uh, there a special word? A uh, swami? Oh, yeah, there you go. Good job. I think. I don't know. That's probably like a really general term. You're probably just making that up. Uh, Probably. 
I just picked the first word that kind of <laughs> sounded familiar. Anyway, so that was kind of cool. And then after, then after it almost fell apart, actually. What? Whoa. <laughs> so, what do you mean? So basically, the bride didn't tell her <laughs> grandparents that she was going to get married to my cousin. Or Wait, something. isn't like the whole family thing a big deal for that? Yeah, but they only told one set of grandparents. Oh. So they said, just give us like 15 days. We'll convince them. No problem. <laughs> so as a result, you can understand that some people got tense. But there was no big deal. Everything's fine. What? What? I didn't... Uh, man, you know the stupid like Indian things here. Yeah, it's stupid anyway. Alright, so other than that, I bought... Finally got uh, like my suits and stuff. Got my own tailored stuff. Bought a lot of clothes and stuff this week. Oh, and I came back from India. Man, Air India is the shittiest flight ever. That, that shit was so annoying. Well, when I went to India, <laughs> my screen didn't work. You know, the touch screen where you want to watch movies? Didn't work and now when i was coming back it froze on the stupid maps page so i couldn't do anything and i couldn't even change the language to english because i can't read hindi <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't even look at where i was going or like where i was or the temperature or anything because it was in hindi not english does the temperature part really matter that much well i mean i would like to see something on the screen you know it's like i actually have nothing wait were the that. numbers also just written out in like text Oh, no, the numbers were actually in English. That's how I know that they were the temp... Uh, the, numbers the English were, numbers? <laughs> the numbers were written out in Arabic numerals, so... Yeah. So I Wait, actually, so you didn't know the temperature then? Was, it in, uh, was it in Celsius? I, I couldn't read that part. So, wait, couldn't you tell by looking at, like, what it was? Can how you normally... am I supposed to tell? We're, like, 5,000 feet in... Okay, I, that's not even exaggeration enough. We're, like, 500,000 feet in the 500,000 feet, yeah. How am I supposed to tell where, if it's Celsius or Fahrenheit? They're probably The difference doesn't even matter at that point. All right, do you remember yeah. what the number was? What, what, yeah, yeah, let, let me remember. What I mean, I mean, maybe if you remember the number, I could tell you if it was Celsius or Fahrenheit. All right, I don't know. It was a really high negative number. Wait, high, so negative, high negative, negative is in, like, low <laughs> absolute value, right? Yeah, low absolute. Uh, no, no, high absolute value. Wait, really? Wait, so, like, negative 40? Yeah, something like that. All right, well, actually, that's a hard place to figure out. Exactly. <laughs> See, you couldn't tell. I couldn't even tell the temperature from there. That's that's around the point where uh, they are about the same or something. And, okay, and now this is one of the worst parts. The recliner didn't work. How? So you just had to sit up? I, I had to sit up the whole flight. Whole goddamn flight. It was the worst. It was actually the worst experience of my life. I'm so happy that day is over. Oh, right. So negative 40 Fahrenheit is equal to negative 40 Celsius. Oh, see, I wouldn't have been able to tell. All right, well, I'm sorry. At least I tried to help. Yeah, it's whatever. What else did I do this week? I went to McDonald's in India like five times. Is that like what you did for fun? Well, I wanted to go clubbing, but those plans fell through. Damn. They just, they just weren't that into it? No, nah, they, they were, but everybody had shit to do. Uh, so I couldn't get, round up the people. What, like they had to go to work or something? Well, they're all in, they're still in college and stuff, you know. Like, uh, well, just fucking like take off. Be like, sorry, professor, gotta go to the club. Nah, they didn't want to do that. I suggested that idea. I guess they are like the people in India. That's like yeah. worse than the Indians here. What does that even mean? As in like... Are you were... stereotyping something? Well, Are yes. You racist? Wait, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Wait, well, you didn't let me finish. No, I'm not going to let you finish. Right. Racists don't have a place in the society. I mean, is it... Are you allowed to be racist against like your racist? own... Racist? Yes. Wait, what? You can only be racist against racists. Wait, racists aren't but that's a race, not a race. You moron. Well, I mean, if you want to classify them as one, I think you race is a very fluid concept. Wait, you can't just do that. <laughs> you can't just make things I up did. like that. I did. All right, you can, but you're an idiot if you do. <laughs> Well, I, I Where's Lucas? We need Lucas here. <laughs> I classify I need an adult. <laughs> and what? What happened? Are you listening to anything Shashank's saying right now? No. Okay. <laughs> well, good for you. I classify myself as a pan-earthian. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep not listening. Okay, can you, you wanna, you wanna explain what that is? It means that, like, all of Earth is one race, mm -hmm. and I am part of that race. That means That's you- part. The pan means all. So does that mean 
Compass. That even the races are pan earthian because they're all they're part of all. Oh, I forgot. I'm a pan earthian one. Pan earthian <laughs> one are the non racist ones. Pan earthian two is a subset of pan earthians. All, all right, the- all right. You don't you don't have to go on anymore. It's very obvious. You're just making this shit up on the spot. And I know. You didn't, and you didn't even like spend enough time like thinking it through. There are plenty of holes in what you're saying right now. <laughs> well, it's like when you think of sets, right? No, 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 no. You're just I, gonna you're just gonna like I, say I, some I, shit and I then make it sound like you know what you're saying when you clearly don't are in the set of capital pan earthians all right let's move on from shashank all right wait was that all shashank's week unless you have something else to do you but you have to get off pan earthian let me think what i did oh so i spent like 300 hours this last week playing fallout shelter 300 hours is that is that all you have to do there for fun so my phone, I, I didn't have data. And I only had one non-data game, and that was Fallout Shelter. And my PS Vita and my 3DS ran out of battery because I played them so much. And uh, Fallout Shelter started getting me so addicted to it, I just kept on going to see if I could get more caps, more settlers. Time to go to the wasteland. How many settlers do you have? I actually don't have that many. I only have like 80 or something. And you spent 300 hours? What are you like? Uh, do you uh, know how okay, to play I, the game? I, I didn't spend 300 hours. I spent more like, I don't know, like a week. I don't know what number that is, but you know. It's a lot probably, of time. Probably close to 300 hours. Who's like having a fucking type fest right now? You, that was me. Why are you like typing up a <laughs> paragraph right now? I like how Shashank claims the blame for something I was doing. <laughs> 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 Why would I be typing while I'm talking? I actually can't do two things at the same time. You because should know you that by now. By Wait, dude, saying, how are you breathing? <laughs> how am I breathing? Don't think about it, because then you'll stop breathing. Actually, there's an Indian sport. It's called Cavity. Cavity, Me- yeah, that, that's exactly how it's pronounced, yep. <laughs> Me and yep. Uh, were playing it the other day. What? Before I went to India, you know, like to prepare for the India trip. Because it's like one of the pastimes of India. Kind of like baseball. It's like MLK, Major League Cavity. So it's actually pretty big. But one of the rules in the game is that, like, while you're on offense, you have to keep saying the word cavity over and over again without, like, breathing. Like, in the same breath. You can't, you can't ever breathe again. If you start breathing again, you get disqualified and you have to move. Uh, and you're not on offense anymore. Is that really a rule in this game? That is actually the rule. Like, that's why you have to keep saying that word over and over again. So that you run out of breath? Like, you're on offense until you run out of breath. Once you run out of breath, your turn on offense is over. Uh, does anyone else even, like, believe this guy? They're not even paying attention, dude. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> right now, it's just the two of us talking about yeah, nothing. Is it still Shashank's turn? You you can go anytime. You can go. I'm literally just bullshitting right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were right actually now. talking about something. I was, Well, like... I was, but, you know, it's, like, half on, half off with me. So I should just go now? Yeah, just go. Just go. Alright, so Alyssa and I will be adopting a cat. Actually, Alyssa already has. She's just gonna be moving up here with me sometime soon. Bringing the cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're bringing a cat. What, what's the color of the cat? Black and white. Damn. Is it a tuxedo cat? I actually don't know, like, what all the cats are called. Like, you know. But, um, and... well, it's a cute cat. She's I... very nice. She meows a lot when you go in the room at first, and then she just purrs the entire time. Dude, that cat sounds so awesome. All my friend's cats just bite me. I bet your cat won't. Mm, probably not. I mean, she's the type of cat where you can even rub her belly. What? Right? That's actually amazing. And she's adopted? Yeah. You just got this cat, and she's already awesome with you rubbing her belly? Yeah, well, that's what Alyssa said anyways. She was the one who actually, you know, went ahead and did that. I didn't try. To be real, Alyssa's like one of the least intimidating people. (laughs) Like, <laughs> are you saying that Ray's gonna be intimidating and scare the cat? Ray's tall, man, and lanky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cat. lankiness is so intimidating. <laughs> you know, cats don't have a concept of slender man, right, Shashank? <laughs> I don't know. They might see this tall, lanky figure. Above. Would you stop saying lanky like that, man? What are you even trying to imply here? <laughs> You ever read Harry Potter? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. You uh, you remember the Weasleys? They were lanky, and people didn't like them. Wait, wait, wait. Are, <laughs> wait you, are you just, is this like your way of saying that you don't like Ray? No, I love Ray. I'm like Harry Potter. He was the Weasley's <laughs> only friend. All right, so wait, well, then what are we? <laughs> uh, uh, Arvinder, I'm not gonna you're, uh, who would you be? You'd be like, no, mm, this is hard. Serious Black. 
No. What? Come on. Arvinder? Arvinder would be like a Hagrid, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what is that? Why, wait, why would I be Hagrid? It's, it's, well, let's see. Your facial hair is approximately the same. Okay. Like, if we stretched you out, like, in dimensions, so you matched Hagrid's dimensions, and we stretched your facial hair to do the same, it'd probably line up perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Right. Actually, Arvinder is Felch. What? The Oh, that's rude. No, no, no. How do I look? The janitor hates kids. Arvinder hates kids. Perfect. Is that it? That that's, that's it. it. That's all. That's your defining characteristic. All right. He's well. also just an asshole, right? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Why did this turn into like shit on me right now? <laughs> well, it's only Shashank. Shashank, you need to relax. We need to go back to the cat. The cast. Yeah, okay, the cat. Congratulations on getting cat cast. The best kind of animal. The best kind of animal. The yeah, cats are the shit, man. Yeah, probably. Probably the best. Dogs are like terrible. No, no, I like dogs. It's just they're very high maintenance. Well, I don't like dogs. What? Dogs are great. Dogs are like kids. Yeah, exactly. Wait, obviously. Oh, that makes sense. Why? Wow. You, you forgot Arvinder <laughs> hates kids. Yeah, no, yeah, it makes so much sense now. He hates that he ever had to be a kid. It's <laughs> like the most regrettable part of his existence. Isn't he it hates the very that? concept of children. Arvinder like he once went into a bookstore and just destroyed all of the coloring books. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because he could. The most that's regrettable good. part of everyone's life. Though. Part of himself as a kid. Wait, like being a kid or like being like a teenager? Who me? Yeah. A uh, kid and also a teenager. Oh, and everything, okay. everything up until this point in your life, you were an idiot and it was bad. And now you're definitely not an idiot anymore, and you're good at stuff. See, what you just said is literally <laughs> why eugenics will never work. <laughs> 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 Wait, does that mean like in a couple of years you're gonna think the exact same thing and then just be like, yo, me two years ago was an idiot? Uh, no, that'll never happen. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> So what, what's, like, the cutoff, then? Right now. Oh, like, this exact moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, this time you said right now or the last time? No, like, today. Oh. So this day, when it hit midnight yeah. last night, Yeah. that was the time. Yep, because yesterday that? I was like, damn, I, like, stubbed my toe on the door. I was <laughs> kind of fucked up. So, <laughs> gotta start over again. What about, like, when you stop being sick? Oh, no, that's that just happens, though. <laughs> that's just random? Yeah. Hey, wait. Fun fact, did you know that India is the world's number one exporter of beef? Uh... Just, just fun. <laughs> Continue. Anyway, let's, yeah, uh... Either. You should, you should, like, edit in a cartoon version of Shashank on the, the podcast and just say, like, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> Alright, now you're asking for way too much. I don't want to throw in graphics and things. It's so easy, though. You threw in graphics for something. Just what? have Bummy draw me. What, you mean me? Well, I, oh, you were the one that drew that? Oh, I drew, yeah. I, I draw, like, everything. Bummy never draws anything. Oh, wait, yeah. Just have you draw me. Yo, he's, he's trying to take the credit away from you. Damn. That's Dude, I up. thought it was Bummy, man. Nah. Sorry. Because, you know, I thought he's such a good, like, artist. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a world-class artist myself. <laughs> have you seen our logo? Yeah. No, I actually have. <laughs> All right, what the hell? Why? <laughs> how could you have not? Yeah, yeah, it's not even possible. Do you even, like, watch our things? To be real? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, we have a logo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the YouTube channel. All right, give me a second here. I'm going to. We're going to pause for a moment and see Blucker Dog's Raymond review of Blucker Dog's logo. <laughs> Wait, you you've seen the logo already? I probably just ignored it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I remember yeah. this. You know, I have to say, Arvin, this isn't really the most flattering picture of you, but. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't matter if it's flattering, right? As long as um people. It's accurate. Oh, I was going to say, as long as people understand what it is. So what's you know, that You thing? mean that's you? So what's that thing on your head? <laughs> it's the turban. <laughs> Punjabi. I, I don't know what it's supposed to be. The point is, it's there and that's it. I thought it was just like a really, really fat, like, fettuccine noodle. I just put it there to be open to interpretation. <laughs> Alright, in that case, uh, I invoke the right of English class. I'm going to say that my interpretation that's a fettuccine noodle is unchallengeable. It's true. It's your interpretation. Yeah. So for you, that's unchallengeable. Yeah. Yes. But everyone else can do their own thing. No. Yeah. Wait. 
But those are conflicting. <laughs> you can't. It's my personal reality, man. At least you're not um throwing your beliefs on me like Lucas is right now. Wait, I'm not. What are you talking about? You should always throw your beliefs on everyone. Uh, <laughs> dude, that sounded like vaguely dirty. I think uh, you might have wanted to pick some different words there. Yeah, probably. What else did you uh, do this week, Ray? Uh, let's see. Well, um, Alyssa came over for the first time, so that was nice. We with watched the... the uh, say it again? With the cat? No, 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 not with the cat. <laughs> the, the cat will only have to go through one three-hour drive if we can help it. Because, like, that's not going to be pleasant for either of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We watched the third Madoka movie. The third Madoka movie? Like, yeah, because the, the first two are, like, recaps. Okay, yeah. Wait, yeah. there are three? Wait, second? What? There are three Madoka movies? The first two are basically just recaps of the series. Oh, oh okay. So just... yeah, yeah, yeah. So the third one's the only one that actually matters to uh, watch. Is it sad? It's... Yep. It's spoilers if I say anything about it. Just like all of Madoka. Come on. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But well, uh, it's... We embrace spoilers here at Lucker Dogs. That's another That's fun. That's fair enough. It's very different from the main series, but yet not at all. The theme is very different, but the Madoka approach is solidly there. Damn. I'm on a Dungeons & Dragons chat right now, so they were talking about gun control and then the Middle East, so... I guess you could call it Gungeons & Dragons. So why don't they just call it... I needed to say that. Why, why don't they just talk about, like, Dungeons & Dragons? Well, um, you know, that's, a, well, we're, that's what we're talking about now. But, like, the conversation started somewhere contentious and then gradually drifted back to good territory, which is basically the opposite of every other conversation I've ever been in. All right, well, if it's okay <laughs> to say, what kind of stances were uh, put on gun control in that chat? Let's see. The basic idea is that, in general, the South has it right, but people who open carry in restaurants are retarded. Oh, okay. Well, That's, well, what, what does the South do? Just easier to get guns in general. I didn't think it would be that, uh... That right. cut and dry? Well, look, if it wasn't that cut and dry, it wouldn't have gone from, like, that to normal. It would have gone from that to shit show. Yeah, you're right, I guess. Yeah. This is the internet we're talking about, man. You don't fuck with the internet, man. Yeah, so then they started talking about the Middle East, and then after that, gradually drifted back to Dungeons and Dragons. They went from gun control to Middle East? Yeah. I think there was something about, like, uh, Donald Trump in there, but I forgot if that was before or after the Middle East. Dungeons and Arrogance? Alright, that one didn't... Dude, that was awful. Like, I can't even laugh at that. Lucas can laugh at that for me because I refuse. See, look, Lucas is laughing twice as hard as he normally would well, in my stead. Well, Lucas isn't laughing at it. You know? He's just he's laughing, laughing at the awfulness? At Sh- no, he's just laughing at Shashank. Oh. <laughs> I can laugh at that, sure. Yeah, that's easier. You know what I just realized? What? You know, like, Kazuya in... in, in uh, Tekken? Street yeah. Fighter? If you rearrange his name, it's like Yakuza. Yakuza? Yeah. Uh, Yakuza. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. Is is that all? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> Japanese draws on like a fairly limited supply of yeah, like true. you know basic building block sounds, so right, right, right. stuff like that's gonna happen more often. Yakuza, Kazu, yeah, Yakuza. At least it will be bringing up uh, Yakuza later on in the news today. That's why I mentioned it, actually. Oh, oh you mean the game? Yeah, the game. No, oh, I see. But yeah, anyways, um, to wrap up my week, we basically just Madoka and chilled, and that was good. Nice. Yeah. Madoka and chill. Mm-hmm. All right, Lucas. Yes, and in chill, and chill with the proper usage, not the usage you use when you and Arbiter program and chilled. I don't, like, not the right use of the <laughs> term, Shashank. Program what? and chill. All right, so Lucas. <laughs> Just what did what did you do this week? Uh, okay, so since Bombie's not here, I have to take his his place. What does he usually say? Uh, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That wasn't bad. I mean, that you sounded, didn't have the accent. That, sounded, but that was great. Like, yeah. It sounded like such a happy version of Bombie. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I, don't know, like I think Bummy is generally a fairly smiley person, right? Yeah, I would say yeah. so. But like Bummy is, is more like low key, like yeah, whatever. <laughs> Lucas's was like so peppy. <laughs> <laughs> It made me feel good. What? That's crazy. Uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, what about? <laughs> so what about you getting uh, more and more sick? Yeah. So I just continue to get more sick. That's fun. <laughs> I, I counted, and it has been two weeks at least since this one, since this round of sickness. And before that, there was a week of relative health, and then a week before that, I was sick again. So three out of the past four weeks of. <laughs> 
cursed, man. <laughs> now it has moved down to my lungs, and it feels. And when I when I like breathe deeply, my like chest hurts. So that's fun. I probably have like pneumonia. <coughs> well, that's not good. Yeah, pneumonia sucks. Yeah. Like, you should go to the doctor. Yeah, I already went to the doctor though. I'm on my last round of meds right now. Was that for this thing or is something before? The ear infection, which is related because it's all the same thing. Okay. Well, you should but go to the doctor. What? It's a virus, probably. Uh, like, what can you do about that? Well, I can't. I can't like wipe me and reinstall. <laughs> Well, here's what you can do. You can go to the doctor and then uh, tell him that if he doesn't fix you, you're going to have to fight him. I thought you were going to say, like, cough on him. No, 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 no. Uh, that, that, that'd be really rude. Try oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Instead, you just got to start fighting him. Put on boxing gloves if you want. That's the choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just start punching him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm on the I'm in the coughing faction as well. Yeah. Wait. Uh, normal more than usual. Yes, Lucas. More than usual. <laughs> yeah. It, it must For those be- of you who don't know, I just cough all the time. I definitely what know. <laughs> so what else did I do this week? Let's see. Let's see. I went to work. Oh yeah, we had we had um um. Come on. Um. Oh, I thought I DC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we tried to play uh, Dark Souls this week. Oh, true, 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 true. Okay, we I'm going to forget what I was saying and explain that instead. So we tried to play Dark Souls, and it turns out that Arvinder is really bad and couldn't find my symbol, my summon symbol. So instead, we played uh, Simply Chess, which was fun, and Arvinder almost beat me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you can watch the video on our channel. By the way, Arvinder put up the video. It'll uh, be up eventually. Okay, and then we played some Showdown, and I also beat Arvinder there. So I mean, in my defense, I technically won Showdown. What happened afterwards shouldn't even count. It's bullshit. Okay, so you won two out of three. I won three out of five. Or, or wait. Yeah. Three out of five. So that means that I'm better. No, but the original thing we started on was two out of three. Right, but then you upped the stakes. Well, you upped the Double stakes. Double or nothing. And, and I, were... well, I didn't want to agree. But you did. Double or nothing, man. No, but I didn't want to agree, and that's where the... the wait, what's the double, then? What would I have gotten if... if twice, like, I twice the ego oh. for just continuously winning. That's not enough for me. Yeah, it is. What else would you have gotten from just winning the first time? That's not important. Yeah, exactly. But the point is, <coughs> technically, I won. I'm just going to throw that out there. And then keep talking and nobody explodes. Which was that really was fun. great. Yo, guys, watch that video. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, and then I guess we'll be playing more of that at some point in the future, along with Simply Chess and Showdown, because that was also great. Yeah, I'll take okay. you guys on on Showdown. Yeah. Wait, Pokemon Showdown? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's do it right now. Yo, no, wait, really? not right now. Don't <laughs> start right now. Wait, wait, can, can we take a moment? I need your help with something, guys. What is that? All right, so I got to plan meals for tomorrow because all my food needs to defrost for at least overnight if I want to eat any of it. What yeah. do you guys think I should have? Uh, toast. Okay, <laughs> so toast for breakfast. Breakfast. Got it. What else? Chicken. Toast. All right. Chicken from Shashank. So chicken. Got it. Toast. All right. All that'll right. be for dinner or lunch. So I'm going to need one more green entree protein. Cereal oh, Bell. Oh, oh, no, no. I got it. I got cereal. it. Got Wait, it. no. Taco Bell. Just get Taco Bell. No, Just no. get cereal, hold, dude. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Yeah? Egg toast. All right. Taco Bell cereal or egg toast. Since they're all awful ideas, that means I should logically use something that isn't any of them. So I'm going to go oh. with... Uh, I actually didn't think he was going to say that. Sausage. I mean, one time I went to Shishang's house and i ate taco bell out of his fridge so you know i assumed that it would work the other way around too oh by oh, the way yeah. guys was this like during my party yeah oh yeah <laughs> i mean that was part of the requirements for me to show up oh you actually ate that the taco bell yeah i i don't really remember much of course you don't you never remember yeah Yo, yeah what uh i can just totally eat milk again <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Part six? <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, I've been I've been building up to that, right? Like, I tried that, like, a month or two ago, and I said it then, but it's pretty much confirmed at this point. Like, I had pizza for lunch at work the other day. I had, like, queso in this burrito bowl kind of thing. I just kind of eat cheese now and milk and stuff. You know, soon you'll even be able to get drunk with us. Well, no, I can do that, too. Oh, then what's the point? You're not sick. No, so the thing is, apparently it's just a cycle, so... 
eventually it'll just flare up out of nowhere and I'll feel really bad for a couple months. But until then, I can just live it up. So it's actually a cycle. Yes. It's not just us telling you you're an idiot <laughs> when it keeps going in cycles. Yeah. Wait, wait. Why don't? Why didn't you ever call Lucas a liar for saying this type of shit? You know, if if this happened to me, you'd be like, "Oh, Shane's just lying again." Well, the but- difference was that, like, I can see that Lucas like felt bad. Yeah, you yeah. can see me feeling bad too. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't see it. I, I'm crying on the inside. Well, I'm crying that's on different. the outside. Well, too. Lucas, for Lucas, the pain was on the outside. Damn. Yeah, you so next time, fun. you have to start crying right in front of me. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell call you a liar or something. All right, that's no problem. Challenge accepted. I will right. cry in front of you. Okay, great. Remember when I got destroyed like every day for a month? That was fun. No, the best was when you got destroyed... And it started up the whole let's not go to class thing. Oh, yeah, that was good. An entire semester of just not going to class. <laughs> Remember when we did when we weren't going to go to class and then we caught a ride and then got out of the car and walked back? But no. then you guys just walked yes. the bus. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I well, was the one who was, like, going to drive everyone in the first place. I ended up being the only one not to go to class. Because yeah. <laughs> it looked like Ray was actually going to go to class. So, we're like, so I'm why like, didn't you stay in the car? Well, this this was at, at after we already got out, and I'm like, man, now I feel bad that Ray's gonna go to class, and we're not going. <laughs> so I was like, we should just go, and then you didn't go, <laughs> and we were in class. Wait, 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 I didn't go. Well, you you were feeling bad, so you went back. Yeah. But Henry and I were like, all right, maybe we should just go. Ray's going, and then we Dude, went. that was that was like the stupid uh, what what's that story called? Gift of the Magi. What the hell is Gift of the Magi? You know that story where like a uh, one person like you know sells their uh, cuts off their hair and like you know sells it to buy one guy an Xbox and then uh, that, their Xbox controller and the guy yeah. like sells his Xbox to get her a comb or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah, so it's like you know I offered to drive you guys, but I ended up deciding not to go. And then you guys, by getting out of the car, leading me to think that you weren't gonna go, decided to go because you thought I was going. Man, <laughs> well, in the end, it was probably a bad idea that. Uh, we didn't go because of what happened at the end of that class. What happened? When we got destroyed on that last oh, that yeah. project. Yeah. I forgot about that. That was terrible. Wait, which class was this again? Compilers. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yeah. I knocked my uh I knocked my cell phone off and it almost ripped my ears out when my earphones like went down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It almost ripped your ears out? Yeah, like how strong my earphones. Are the, how strong are those earphones? The pretty plug strong, is pretty strong. Dude. Damn, normally like when that happens, it just like disconnects and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that was kind of annoying, but I'll just pick up my phone now. No, like my head got leaned over a bit. I was like, ah. Maybe Hi. it's because um, my head is so strong and you're a weak asshole. Oh, I thought you were going to say... Hey, I might be a weak asshole, but you are the one who has a weak asshole. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Yo, he went there, dude. I mean... He I went th- there. No, I, I, no, 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 no. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Thanks>, <laughs> Shank is on point today with the putting down Arvinder. Anything else, Lucas? Uh, no, that's it. Wait, that was Lucas's week? Yeah. <laughs> Well, if it, if it makes you feel any better, Lucas, I mostly have the same thing. The only I mean, other... What? I did other stuff, but it's not, like, interesting to you guys. Oh. Well, the only other thing that I did was uh, Lucas, start I playing... I want to hear about what you did. Okay, let's do it. Let's hear about Lucas's day. What? I was My day? The... Yeah, Pop today. You... <laughs> You're so selfish. Wait, Arvinder, what were you going to say? All right, what I was saying... No, 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 shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Literally, you interrupted him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Lucas. T- tell Shashank about your day. I don't even remember anymore. All right, well he forgot. So, so my look turn. What you did, asshole. All right, all right. All I did was I started playing Dark Souls 2 again. I was like, oh, maybe I'll actually beat it this time. Because it's the best game ever. Okay, and uh, what happened was um, I just kept getting invaded by John Stamos. <laughs> And he kept killing me. Was it the real John Stamos? Might Wait. as well be, because what kept, what kept happening was, like, I was, like, far away in it from him. Like, one, at least, like, one body away from him. And then he would just stab, <laughs> and then I would just take the hit. Oh, yeah, and that's just how it is. Just kept getting, like, lag hits, and <laughs> I died. And then one time, I had someone else summon me. I was helping them, and then John Stamos came in. And then he killed both of us. Damn. Yeah. That's about all I got for How my week. How far are you? How far am I? I only got to the fucking um, hide whatever tower of flame. Wow. 
I completed the giant forest thing. What was that called? We did that together in one. Well, episode. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do that same one. I like played a different character. Well, I know, but still, like, it takes like forty minutes. All right. Well, maybe you being like with your huge dick can do that in forty minutes. We did it in forty minutes. Well, we were also playing together, which makes things like yeah. And I, I fucked you up like repeatedly. No, you didn't. You were tried. You Wait, tried. who's John Stamos? John Stamos? Not the Full House guy. No, it is the Full well, House then, guy. The, then what? who's the other John Stamos? Wait, you got attacked by Full House in the game? No, I didn't get attacked by Full House. That doesn't make <laughs> sense. I got attacked by John Stamos. From, like, that new Josh Peck, John Stamos sitcom? I don't know what that is. The yeah, point actually, is... Did you know John Stamos and Josh Peck of a new sitcom? No, is it bad? Well, I don't know. Jo- like Josh Peck is a father. What? I, okay. Isn't he actually, like? Isn't he like fifteen years old? No, he's like he's like twenty five. First, <laughs> uh, dude, like to me, he's just like fifteen years old. So in, in the show, he's like he's like a father with a family and shit, and like a little kid. But then he finds out that like his actual biological dad. He goes to find him, right? And his biological dad is John Stamos, which is really weird because John Stamos looks only like 10 years older than him. Well, now, now when you say John Stamos, do you mean like his biological dad is somebody played by John Stamos or literally John Stamos playing himself? Somebody played by John Stamos. Ah, that's no fun. Imagine <laughs> if it was literally John Stamos, but just playing himself. All right, wait, hold on, hold on. What? I'm just waiting for you to... Uh... Finish yeah. doing whatever you're doing. Walking down the stairs. <laughs> Yo, there's a guy. It's all right. There's only a few more. All right, that's all. Then. All right. You know, there's a guy on Reddit, Vita, who apparently won a PS Vita from Taco Bell and won the gold PS4 from Taco Bell today. It's because his name had Vita in it. Oh, we should. Is that like... how that works? Yeah. Oh, we should do that thing. There's a way to increase your chances a lot. Yeah, it's be the guy that is working for the company that they just give it to, so they have an actual winner. It's like, hey, create oh. an account called I Want a Vita, and then <laughs> you got a Vita. Cool. Oh, I was going to say, you just take the free whatever number that you can get, like, once a day, and then enter that at, like, 5 a.m., so while, like, no one else is awake, and then you have a pretty good chance, or at least <coughs> relative to normal times. Of actually winning. Remember when we were going to get those postcards? Yeah. Remember how we didn't get those postcards? All right. So uh, seriously, like, where do you get postcards these days? I don't we know. Tried looking. From the postcard shop. Wait, didn't you? Did you look on, like, Amazon? Yeah, but then I was like, that's expensive. I don't want to spend money on that. Wait, what do you mean? They turned out to be more expensive than I, like, Than you would to. like? Yeah. Okay, so I just looked it up, and we've got 100 postcards for, like, $15, and those yeah. are, like, expensive ones. Yeah, that's exactly it. And I was like, I'm not going to spend $15 on this. They were, like, frog print Pixar <laughs> postcards, though. All right, maybe, like, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, so this vintage retro old, in case you didn't didn't get the point <laughs> vintage retro old travel postcards for worth collecting uh 620 for 30 pieces. all right maybe that one would have been a good idea all right hold on <laughs> are you like entering a quarter into a machine or something hello is he even he's doing the logic <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was waiting for someone to figure it out. All right. 72 minutes on the machine, though. Well, we'll be, uh, I'll, okay. <laughs> All right. Let us know when you're, uh, done with the stairs. Oh, wait, I can just kill the mic. All right. I guess he killed the mic. <laughs> Who's Mike? All right, so <laughs> that's it for, uh, People's Weeks. We can move on to the huge list of news that we have. Yo, 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 can I start? Yeah, let's Ray start. Yeah, I'll start with the news this time. All right, go. All right, so... Go, Ray, go, go, Ray, go. It's a little bit old now, but that's all right. We're always behind the times by a little bit anyway. But um, you guys heard about the Mets-Dodgers game, right? No. No? No. no. Yeah, oh, I heard about a... that. The Chase Utley thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, um, one guy did a dirty slide. Like, the, the story goes he slid, like, after he was already on base and, like, took out another guy. Like, just straight out, like, knocked him down. I think he was injured or something. Did yeah, Chase Utley slid yeah. into this guy named Kayata. And, like... Ugly is already like a, a loser. Actually, no. That's actually. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, actually, no. 
Chase Utley. Poor dude. His wife cheated on him back a long time ago with his best what friend. Is, what does that have to do with this? Because they're both kind of like... <laughs> this has to be like the noisiest podcast we've ever done. All I hear is like freaking Ray going up and down the stairs. <laughs> she shanks like family in the background. There haven't been that many cars. Oh yeah, you're right. What happened? I don't know. It's just a silent kind of day. All right. So this guy just uh, <laughs> took another dude out. What are the repercussions? He actually got off scot free, I think. Oh. Remember when Victor punched someone in the face playing he baseball? Punched, he punched Shane. Shane? And, yeah, that was great. And it wasn't it wasn't baseball. It was wiffle ball. Oh yeah, even better. <laughs> we wouldn't play baseball. Yeah, you're right. What is that? What is this sound? Yeah, who's playing a sound? Someone playing a piano? No. What? Oh, who that's, the, that's, who that's, can that's, even play piano? Yo, Arvinder, that's your that's your fucking messenger that's yeah. playing phones because you're getting messages right now. Wait, you're dumb. What? Yeah. It changed the Facebook sound. Wait, yo, sh- why yo, is that I, on? That. Shouldn't that be off? No, that that has to be like coming from Ray or something. My sound, my sounds are completely off on Facebook. No, they're not. They think <laughs> just no. So you have to set it back now. All right, I'm assuming that it's coming from Ray. No, it's not. I don't hear anything. Well, it stopped now. We'll find out later. All right, don't worry. Dude, I feel like you're going nuts. All right, don't worry. Oh, I I know sports news from this week. Nice. Go for it. Did you guys hear that uh, this September was the first September in six years? Wow. That... (laughs) Wait, (laughs) wait, wait. Wait, that's... (laughs) That no one in the NFL got arrested. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. That's Wait, who really got arrested? No one. no one. No one got arrested. That's Wait, the news in the in NFL. The NFL. <laughs> oh. They're actually improving. Yeah, dude, they're That's turning great. it around. I'm impressed. Yeah. Like, if it was me, I'd be getting arrested, like, every other week. That's true. Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I mean, you know, it's because you can just get away with it. Oh, yeah, good point. Because it's like, oh, what? What are you going to do? Keep me here? I'm, like, famous. You know what they said during, like, the rookie, like, orientation, right? What? So, so the NFL has a rookie orientation that happens in April or, like, June after the players get drafted and stuff. Where they have, like, Hall of Famers and stuff talk to all the rookies and be like, where the money, where they invested. Don't give your money to your relatives and stuff that come knocking on your door. So, like, one of the guys, one of the speakers was like, you know what you need? You need a fall guy. All y'all need to get a fall <laughs> guy right now so that if you get in trouble, you know who to call. Is that real? <laughs> Tell me that's not real. That, that is totally real. It's called the Chris Carter fall guy speech. I'm going to so, look that up later. That sounds hilarious. So what is it? Just, like, the plot of ballers? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Chris Carter told NFL rookies to get a fall guy in case they get in trouble with the law. Wait, what's Ray doing now? Because all you guys aren't going to do the right stuff. I need to teach you how to get around all of this stuff, too. If you have a crew, one of them fools need to know that they're going to jail. I know a lot of oh. you are going to drink. I know a lot of you aren't going to do... Uh, aren't gonna use drugs but still get yourself a fall guy all right well at least he's trying to help he knows that you know they're not gonna stop (laughs) this is hilarious and it's an nfl like association mandated event for the rookies well what are they gonna do like take him out of the hall of fame no (laughs) exactly (laughs) but he's like a dumbass (laughs) (laughs) he shouldn't even he shouldn't even be like this famous people should take his money away nah man he he earned it and now he can say what he wants that's how it works that's true yeah and he's getting paid to stop his he could run for president now yeah what are you doing yeah. what are you eating what are you eating what are you eating right <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating right now pocky no. don't what what <laughs> don't, don't eat pot. <laughs> Not only is no stop. Ah. <laughs> oh wait. Yo, I actually got one more news thing to say for my week in India. What? So when I was in India, I had this magical snack thing called peanut butter chutney. It was literally like spicy peanut butter. It's the best thing ever. It's like that chunky so peanut good. butter, but spicy. Yeah, it's literally the best thing ever. I'm gonna oh. just eat it all the time. Do they have that in uh, America? Well, now they do because I brought it over. Oh, I mean, like, could you get it here if you wanted to? Well, yeah, if you come to my house, I might give you some. All right, all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move on to the normal news. 
for the week. And we can start <laughs> with um, the fact that the Steam hardware isn't compatible with Macs. Oh, really? Yeah. What so, does that mean? Oh, I mean, it means that, like, um, if you get, like, a Steam machine or, like, a Steam link, this motherfucker just got a message. <laughs> Wait, was that message? me? Was that me? It was I you. think that was you, dude. It can't that be was... me. It is you. All right, well, good thing we I have this new... <laughs> I'm using the new thing now. So even if it is me, it won't get recorded. That's good. Yeah. But if oh, you it's split one the of audio stream? Yeah, but if it's one of you, it will get recorded. So I'll know it's not me if it gets if it comes in. I'm telling you, that one was you. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, are you saying the other ones were you? No. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear them. Alright, well we'll find out later. But the point is, uh, you know how they have the Steam machines and the Steam links? No. Okay, well the Steam machines are like the console like things that are gonna run Steam OS. And the Steam links are the things that you can connect uh, to Steam on your computer and then uh, stream it to your TV. And, oh, cool. I, and those are not compatible with a uh, Mac. So if anyone pre-ordered and has a Mac, Valve is giving out their like Valve pack, which means that they'll get all of the Valve games that have come out and will come out in the future. And if you want a refund on that, they can still do that. Oh, cool. Yeah, so pretty much... Wait, but isn't SteamOS, like, a Linux-based? What? No, but but, no, no, but 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 it's not compatible with the Mac stuff. <laughs> what is... What, why, why, are you laugh- why are you laughing? Because I was really bored by the news, so I decided to look up anagrams for, like, SteamOS. What'd you get? Just some dumb shit, but, like, I don't know. It was Oh, fun. so shit only you would laugh at? Yeah. OS Steam? No. Right, great. Okay. Oh. All right, moving on. All right. Oh, I should also say the Steam Link thing. Uh, if you want to get it, it costs uh, fifty dollars. Uh, it costs fifty dollars, so you know it's nice and um, somewhat affordable. And if you, <laughs> well, actually, since if uh, Lucas ever decides that he wants a TV, he could get that. I have a TV. If you ever decide you want to use that TV to play games, you can get that. Well, all right. At least. Oh, yeah, I actually uh, get a TV during Black Friday. You're gonna get a TV. Yeah. Nice. I might. Yeah, we're gonna uh, get a PS3 and then finish playing Tales of Graces F for real this time. <laughs> oh, speaking of Tales, the new Tales. Wait, that's later when it's coming out this week. Don't worry. Oh, it's Tales of Zeta. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna get to all the news. It's like three pages of news. No, no, no. Well, that that's not part of the news. That's part of uh coming out next week. Uh, with that, what is that a news segment? Yeah, yeah. We started. Right, let's last skip week. straight to that segment. Wait, no, all the news no. is garbage anyway. Don't worry. Here, here's 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 a good one. Go. Um, League of Legends is trying a new <laughs> thing to, uh, I guess, combat all the toxic players that yeah, are. Yeah, but on. they've been trying to do that since like eternity, man. <laughs> this is a new thing. So now, if you get flagged enough, what will happen is they're gonna change your username, and if you want to change it back, you have to take part of a survey. And the survey is the. Are you are you eating more pocky now? No, I'm just cleaning up my garbage. All right, all right. And That's the and good. the survey is like some uh, narcissism. <laughs> It's a narcissist, this narcissistic personality inventory test or something, like 1979. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So, and and uh, a lot of people are saying that it might be just them trying to figure out why people act this way. So of just, what? you're saying that their current prevailing theory is that their gamer base is narcissistic. <laughs> Maybe. Like, clinically narcissistic, not just like people's casual way of saying that, but literally mentally ill. Yes. That That's their new approach. Yeah, yeah. All right, you know what? That's that's that. the smartest thing I've ever heard out of them. Yeah. Like, I think that game's going to die. You think so? Eventually. Well, like, how long is eventually? I don't know. Donkey stopped making videos for it, and he was Wait, like... Wait, really? Yeah, and he was a huge content creator for them. Donkey? Dude, Smash Melee hasn't died yet, okay? Anything well, yeah. can live forever. But those aren't internet-based. That's true. There is net play for Smash now, you know? Uh, oh, actually, with the new uh, GameCube adapt- Game controller adapters, I could probably start doing that myself, too. What? Playing? Um, yeah, yeah, you can download um, Dolphin onto your laptop, which basically oh, just emulates Melee, okay, and you can do yeah, net yeah. play from your yeah. laptop. So I yeah. might try giving that a shot. I wanted to try Dolphin, but then I was like, this is a lot of work I don't want to put in right now. That's fair. Because uh, there are some <laughs> pretty good Wii games that I would like to play, but, you know, the Wii is uh, obnoxious to use. And it also just doesn't look very good. All right, so do you guys remember um, that news from a couple weeks ago? The <laughs> Call of Duty doing that um, weird Twitter thing? Yeah. Well, some Call of Duty dev actually came out and is like, uh, he apologized that they did that. Because, you know, he was like, oh, it's kind of stupid. He's like, it wasn't done maliciously. 
They were just trying to talk about the fiction of the world, as in the Call of Duty world. And that's the news. All right, on to coming out this week. No, no that was just <laughs> that, that piece of news. Uh, another Black Ops 3, they're going to have a new free run, free run mode where, where you can do like time trials with parkour and shit. Here, let me let me just take a look at the doc and see if there's any actual news that's interesting. Wait, there's, wait, there's tons of interesting news. You guys are just a bunch of fuck. All right, okay. hold on. Uh, okay, the Lo- League of Legends thing was actually kind of interesting, at least. Uh, Black oh. Ops, no. Mayday, <laughs> no, that's dumb. <laughs> Mayday! <laughs> wait, oh god, you guys changed it out on me, didn't you? All right, uh, Yakuza 5 release date, new Wait, Amiibos. oh, wait, you can, you can say that. You can say, wait, hold on. New amiibos, though. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of new amiibos. <laughs> oh, the yeah, Mewtwo yeah, yeah. and a bunch of Animal Crossing ones, and the Falco amiibo is specific to Best Buy, and the and- the, the Mega y- Yoshi amiibo for the Yoshi's Woolly World you can only get at Toys R Us. They're just making it like harder and harder to get those things. Wait, wait, Captain Falcon's coming out? No, no, Falco. <laughs> oh. I was gonna be like, I thought it <laughs> came out already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys in, at all interested in Nintendo's next console? No, nope. All right. Well, guess what? All right, Ratchet and no, Clank no. movie trailer. <laughs> wait, 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 um, that doesn't seem interesting. What? Square Enix, blah blah. Uh, I, I can't tell what all these even mean anymore <laughs> because you changed all the titles. What you don't? YouTube you're not- gaming adds mobile support. Okay, blah blah. Resident Evil animated movie. No one gives a shit. Del Toro about- on cancellation of Sound Hills. Oh, that's important. Yeah, talk about Sound Hills. All right. Well, so he was talking about. Del Toro was talking about Silent Hills and stuff, and he was like, it makes... What? What? (laughs) What are you going to say? What are you going to say? That was the news. He talked about Silent Hill. Well, what he was saying was... um, (laughs) He was saying it it makes no sense that they did that, and he was talking about how... (laughs) You done done coughing? (laughs) You need some cough drops or something? Oh, dude, okay. (laughs) All right, and he's saying that it makes no sense that that Konami would do all those things because he was like, we had something really nice that we were making, <laughs> and, and they're just like making terrible business decisions. And he's pretty much just like Konami sucks, and they're just—he's pretty much just saying what the internet's been saying for the past couple of months. Well, too bad, Guillermo del Toro, <laughs> you lost. Konami won. <laughs> All right, so on to that. You- Bungie, <laughs> Destiny, microtransactions, no one cares. Wait, what? NGO launch, nope. Uh, come on, who really cares about Destiny anymore? Uh, Star you know, like, Wars Battlefront Beta. All the people that had- play it? Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Star Wait, Wars Battlefront Beta had 9 million off? players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humble Bundle layoffs, that's important. Talk about that. All right, well, Humble Bundle <laughs> had to lay off 12 people, and that, but that's like 20% of the people that they had at the time. They're citing that to uh, saying that even though that they're getting good revenue and and like they're raising plenty of money for charities and everything, the problem was that they just hired way too many people because they thought you know they were going to be bigger than they actually are. So they got to lay off people now. That sucks. To be honest, like I forgot they existed. Damn, dude. You forgot well, the humble bundle just? <laughs> yeah, because there used to be a whole bunch of stuff. They still do that. Well, I know, but it sounds it's, so sick. It's... it's not as good as it was. Well, maybe uh, that's people like you that are causing them to. Um, well, I mean, do you? Fluff. No. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, I, I never really did before. Anyway, the I only was gonna time, change what? The only time I did it was when we got like insurgency. Oh yeah, I was gonna change more stuff around on the dock, and then I came across Gravity Falls: Legend of the Gnome Gem Units, <laughs> and like I couldn't possibly fuck that up any more than it already is. What is that thing? That's in the next segment. Don't worry, we're not on that yet. We All right, are. so now we're moving on to the next segment. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, week. so before that, <laughs> next, uh, before that, coming out this week. Before that, how about the Lying Eight expansion? What? <laughs> All right, doesn't matter. I, 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 this time I was smart and actually made a copy of this for myself, so you can't mess with it. Fuck. Also, I realized <laughs> no. that our name turns into DLC. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. he's right. Oh, like. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, wait, wait, hold coming on, out this hold week, on. Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butts. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme Butoden, that's on the 3DS. Oh, it's just your normal annual uh, Dragon Ball Z game release. This is coming out on October 20th, by the wait, way. Wait, there's a Tales of Zillia 3? No, no, that's a lie. <laughs> All right, other games coming out this week. 
Gravity, Gravity Falls, <laughs> Gravity Falls Legend of the Gnome Gemulet. That's also on the 3DS, <laughs> and that's gonna be some side-scrolling platformer. <laughs> uh, also coming out October 20th, Guitar Hero Live. Guitar Hero Love. And that's coming out on everything except for PC. What? Yeah, PS4, <laughs> PS3, Xbox One, 360, and Wii U. Not Game PC. Boy Color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Also those things. Colors. I mean, they they did have a, a Guitar Hero for like the 3DS or the DS before. Wait, that was actually pretty fun. Did you play that? My my brother had it, so I did play it. <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was kind of fun. It was an interesting idea where you where you put in a peripheral into the Game Boy slot of the DS, and that's how you played. Well, yeah. Look, it was a rhythm game. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Literally, if you expected it to be anything more than a fun rhythm game, you were gonna be disappointed. Yeah, it but it was, it was just it, it was really just hurt my hand. That's what <laughs> yeah. it and it, like I remember my hand cramping and being like, I actually can't do this right now. It was this just hurts. so much better on console than it was on 3DS, though. That was the problem. I actually couldn't play that game when I went to expert mode because I'd be playing for like two minutes and then I'd be like, I right, now my hand is cramping. All right, so that game sucks. Moving on to uh, also October 20th, Life is Strange Episode 5 Polarize. And that's on all the normal stuff, except for the Wii stuff. And then Overlord, Lord. Fellowship of Evil on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. That's some ARPG, and it's with isometric Wait, view. it's just like the regular Overlord games. I've never heard of this game, so if you actually know what it is. You've never played the Overlord games? No. <laughs> Alright, so the Overlord games are like these things where you're like the Overlord of Hell or something, and you have all these little minions and stuff, and you command them, and you move them around, and you do shit with them. It's really fun. Think about it. It's it's literally... Those games are just a ton of fun. They're not actually, like, like really impressive, like, gameplay-wise, or graphically. <laughs> They're like... You remember how Destroy All Humans was? Yeah. Th- think about, like, that type of fun. So bad? No. Destroy All <laughs> Humans is so fun. Eh, I don't know, man. I had a neighbor who really liked that game, and he always just wanted to play that game, and I'm just like, nah... Like, Overlord got a lot of good reviews. The first one. I remember, like, if you Google it, I think Metacritic has it as, like, a 9 out of 10. What about the rest of them? Well, there's Overlord 2, and that's the only other one. Alright, so it's probably just bad, dude. Alright, Tales from the Borderlands, Episode 5, The Vault of the Traveler. Why why could I not say Traveler? That's the last episode for that game. Episode 1 is for free if you want to go get it. I'm going to go get it. Are you really? No. All right. I actually thought you were going to get it. All right. Uh, Tales of Zestiria on PS3, PS4, and PC. Don't you mean Zillia 3? Yeah, Zestiria, not Zillia 3. Uh, they're actually releasing it on PC, which is a surprise. I'm assuming it's going to be a bad PC port, so wait like a month until they actually fix those since oh what the fuck what when when do like japanese rpgs come out on pc and they're just okay um all the time yeah, all the ease games they come out on pc yes uh, yeah the ease games come out on pc really yeah not like the console <laughs> exclusives that come out for ps vita or psp only but ease one two three four like uh a lot of these games do come out for PC. Oh, I didn't even know that. Never saw them on any of the, like, Steam or any of the other services. That's because, like, the Ease games are, like... No, they are on Steam. No, yeah, but I right. never saw them on there. Like, it's they never tried putting them on the front page or anything to try and sell them. That's because, like, Ease is such a niche type game. Like, the first three games are different <laughs> than, like... The fir- the next like three games, which are different from like the next three games, like gameplay wise, and it's a series where gameplay is like the biggest attractive factor. Unlike like Final Fantasy and stuff, where the story is the biggest thing, for these games, the gameplay is always the biggest thing. And if the gameplay engine keeps on changing every next game, then obviously it's gonna be niche. Well, why don't you go try it on PC and tell us how it is? No, because I heard it's mad fucking hard on PC. <laughs> All right. So also coming out is Sword Coast Legends, which is coming yeah, out for PC, on that. and that's yeah, that's some RPG that's set in the Dungeons and Dragons universe or something. Yes. Or- so the reason is because um besides that, um Sword Coast Adventures is also going to be a book that's coming out sometime. Sword Coast uh, Legends. Uh, Sword Coast Adventures. Oh damn. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a book like an expansion for the current Dungeons and Dragons book that's coming out like uh, sometime later. Uh, I'm not really sure where. 
or I forgot what it's called this time around. Like there was one for the previous one, but it's something something sword coast whatever. So like um besides the game stuff, there's gonna be like basically expansion to the tabletop game too. Is that like new rule set or something? Mm, usually just like. Uh, I think this time around it's going to be like new classes or stuff like um, Mastermind Rogue for if you feel like playing a Mafia boss or the Purple Dragon Knight, which is actually a class. And what does a Purple Dragon Knight do? Teamwork fighter, you know, like help your allies and stuff, but uh, you're all physical. Okay. You going to look into this thing? So what is this? like? Well, so basically like every time a Dungeons & Dragons edition comes out, there's also like supplements to it, like different worlds, whatever, settings, and then like classes and spells and whatever that complement those so like um this is just one of those uh sword coast is going to be like just a different setting overall so there's going to be stuff that goes along with that setting that comes out of the book along mm. with like what originally already exists okay all right that makes sense yeah so like um the past Dungeons and dragon because like 5e is still fairly new um the past Dungeons and dragons had like a whole bunch of different settings you know you could have like the traditional super fantasy setting they made one that was like sort of steampunk level where like elementals powered airships and stuff you know so on and so forth mm. yeah okay. i mean personally i like the whole make your own setting sort of thing but people like having something that like sort of is a foundation if they're making like a smaller adventure so like if you just make like something to play once or twice you're not going to make an entire universe around that you know what i mean right right yeah all right that's pretty cool though all right also coming out on that day is just dance 2016 for this one's actually for like everything except for like the wii it's for pc oh and, and it's not on the wii or the vita <laughs> wait it's not on pc no it is on pc wait why why is just dance on pc and not on the wii well it's on the wii u i guess that makes sense you would think it would be on the Wii, right? Because that's where it became big. Yeah, and but it's why not. the PC? People are just going to be like, okay, you know what? Let me just move away from my desk so I can start dancing. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it's there. All right, also coming out, Adventure Time Finn and Jake Investigations, which is also coming out for everything except for the Wii and the Vita. Don't the Adventure Time games, uh, like, suck? Uh, yeah, but don't worry, this is the first Adventure Time game that's gonna have 3D graphics. So it's still gonna suck? Yeah, probably. Damn. Yeah. Alright, so on October 22nd, Fatal Frame, Maiden of the Blackwater on the Wii U. What's Fatal Frame? Every time we bring up Fatal Frame, you ask that, and then we explain <laughs> it to you. It's in a know what it is. No, Fatal Frame's the, the horror game. <laughs> with the camera. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Wait, are you... Is that Oh, a, yeah, yeah, like Pokemon Snap the horror yeah, game. Yeah, Pokemon <laughs> Snap the horror game. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I say that every single time. Yep. Now I remember. Uh, I, I might actually get this if uh, it's not too expensive. What the fuck? You never get horror games. Wait, I love horror games. It's just did, usually they're bad. Why yeah, did you Luke, get Luke, Alien Isolation? That shit was great. I love our horror games. I just didn't, Well, I, Alien Isolation, I just didn't want to play. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, it's because I don't really like first-person horror games what yeah i don't know that's like the majority of them i've seen them too many times now and i just don't want to play any more of them so you like resident evil resident evil isn't really a horror thing anymore it's more of an action game at this point than a horror game i guess that makes yeah. sense yeah all right also coming out on <laughs> second is mugen souls for the pc oh and mugen souls is apparently a jrpg from like 2012 do you know what that game is no oh you, you said that like as if you knew yeah i was just messing with you all right uh also coming out is knocked on the pc and that's a survival horror shmup <laughs> try and say that again survival Sh horror shmup <laughs> <laughs> What? I mean, that's how it's written. That's, it's how, it's, that's how you say it. No, the first time you said horror. <laughs> what? Nah, dude. Uh, I guarantee I <laughs> yeah. didn't say that. Wait, I guarantee you totally said that. <laughs> okay, so the first time you said survival horror shmup, and the second right. time you said, like, survival right, how about this? horror. In, like, the oh. Asian languages... <laughs> Uh, the R's and the L's are the same, so that's just how it is. All right, so this this game actually looks... Um, I don't know if it's going to be good, but at least the idea of it is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a shmup in, like, a, as a horror game before. Like, the only shoot... It, when you say shoot em up what do you mean? Like, top down or, like, third like, person? Like Ikaruga. <laughs> like Jamestown? Yeah, like Jamestown. 
Yeah, see, the only schnubs I play are like Jamestown or Toho, so I don't have that much to say, you know? It's more than Wait, a, what's a, a, what's a shoot 'em up that's not Jamestown or Toho? Ikaruga? Uh, cave shooters, which are fairly well known. Um, let's see. I mean, you know, Galaga, if you want to go classic. Yeah, Gladius yep. and all those games. All right, so moving on to October 23rd, Assassin's Creed Syndicate on PS4 and Xbox One. Oh. Not on the PC. They learned from last time. Anyone uh, gonna get that game? Yeah, for which game? Assassin's Creed Syndicate. No. <laughs> and uh, also on that same day, <laughs> The Legend of Zelda: Triforce Heroes. Oh, now you're talking. That's on the 3DS. And this is, um, if you remember, they had uh, what was that game? Four Swords Adventure on the. Yep. Was that a DS game? No, that was DS and Game Boy Advance, wasn't it? Yeah, Four Swords was like a while ago, dude. Yeah. Well, because um, they, they had a Game Boy release. So is it going to be like the same idea, only with three this time? Yeah, and there's like a totem pole thing where you can climb on top of one another so that you can like get different elevations. Like the Koopa Brothers from Paper Mario. Is that what they did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you ever play Paper Mario, like the original one? Nope. Yeah. So like, uh, you remember the first boss, like, um, or rather the first um, first uh, star person boss, like uh, it was like the four Koopas that like stacked on top of each other and spun around. Don't you remember Arvinder? I never played that game. Wait, he, I was asking you, dude. <laughs> no, I was answering for Arvinder. Wait, asking Arvinder can't be answering for Arvinder. It doesn't make any sense. It does. Yeah, it does. Wait, so you're saying Arvinder would say, don't you remember Arvinder? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he talks in third person. Arvind, when, is true? When do I do that? When do I do that? <laughs> Just now, when you had me speak for you. All right, please go on, Ray. Please. What? Oh no, that was it. Boss is <laughs> the first boss, dude. It wasn't that hard. Come on. Okay, well, so because if you played A Link Between Worlds, they're taking <gasps> that game engine pretty much, and they're just uh, adding new features to it so that you can do <laughs> multiplayer things. You can still play it. Um, uh, it's single player, but you know. You know what our recordings should just be from now on? What? Like you recording the screen of the Lecker Dogs News Google Doc. <laughs> oh, I, I don't even like look at that anymore. I have my own thing to look at, so it's not messed up. So Dude, the final I game. Mean, what? What? Like, should, I, should I go look at it right now? No, no. We should just wrap this segment up and talk about something else. Well, no. There, there's one more thing. There's more. There's one more thing. Alright, what is it? Warhammer End Times Verminatide. Vermintide. Vermintide. Alright, well I don't know how to pronounce these things. And that's coming out on the PC. And it's it's some first person action game set in the end times of the Warhammer franchise. Ooh, so interesting. Oh. I mean, you know, I'm more of a 40k person myself. The tabletop game? Yeah, or like just the universe in general. Yeah. So what 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 is the Warhammer stuff? I don't know anything it's about. Just like it. so, it's like like classical high fantasy, right? Yeah. So Warhammer the series is basically just like you know tabletop army building sort of stuff. So Warhammer was like, you know, all right, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go all classical fantasy on you. And then Warhammer 40K was like, well, you know, what happened if you just took a fantasy universe and sort of extended it like into the space age? So, space Marines? Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's literally so, Space Marines. <laughs> 40K had some great stuff. The world was like as grim dark as you could get without like just not feeling like doing anything. But like um, people did like expanded universe stuff like literature. Uh, yeah, I mean like you know writing books and stuff. There was this one series I really liked, which was called um, this. It was the Siakas Kane series. And it's just about this one guy who like is trying to not die, which is impossible in the 40k universe. But because he's super lucky and also kind of better than how he says he is. He ends up just like turning the entire really dark setting into like a gag comedy. Wait, so, like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like the Warhammer 40k is a super dark setting where like shit dies all the time. There's like cultists everywhere trying to kill you. Basically the best faction, like the nicest faction is just like all the racists. Oh. They're, they're like the best to hang around because at least if they conquer you, they'll still accept you as lesser citizens. All right, that's nice. Yeah, so like um, in this sort of universe, this guy is basically just like so stupidly lucky and like also competent that everything around him is just like jokes. He turns the setting into comedy, which is nice. But like besides that, 40k also has some stuff that's just like I guess interesting about it. So like orcs still exist in space. They're orcs in space. They're really really dumb, but everything they have is powered on incorrect beliefs. 
So the idea behind 40k orcs is that because they think the color red means stuff will go faster, when they paint their vehicles red, they actually do go faster or something like that. Oh, so it's like, is it like one of those things like in Discworld? Have you ever heard of the Discworld books? Of course, dude. Come on. All right. Well, in Discworld, they have the thing like the notion, if you believe in something hard enough, that's just how reality works. Like, that's how it is in the books. Yeah, so, so it's basically that like it that. Yeah, yeah, so what happens is that they don't realize they're doing it, and they're too dumb to ever figure it out, but things they believe are basically kind of true. But they're orcs, so they just go around, like, killing shit. Wait, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah, so, like, if they got their shit together, like, they would be ridiculous, but they can't because they're orcs. <laughs> and then there's like yeah you know age old like cosmic horror sort of things the um the sex cult you know you gotta have at least one of those mm-hmm. uh let's <laughs> see space marines chaos space marines etc yeah warhammer 40k you know pretty interesting stuff for the emperor oh yeah and like it's post like a modern world so the humans basically believe that like all the machines have machine gods and stuff so like um people that like operate machinery are called tech priests they operate everything like properly but as if it were like a religious ritual what the so this franchise went from like old fantasy stuff yeah skip modern day and went to future because yeah. modern day is boring as hell <laughs> yeah it's basically like the consequences of boosting a fantasy thing past the modern day without really thinking about what would happen in between so they just so you get up- <laughs> yeah you get space orcs with psychic powers yeah. you get humans that think machines are like spirits and stuff and then space elves are always they're, they're still just like regular elves they're racist whatever <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what the power, you know. Not, not much changes with them. <laughs> I guess not, no. And then you have your cosmic horrors, standard stuff. You have your um, basically like uh, alien sort of like uh, messing with people's genes stuff. So, you know, like the Zerg, whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a nicely put together setting. It's just um, despite the fact that it's super dark when you take it apart a bit, there's some pretty funny stuff going on there. So are any of the games and stuff actually good? Well, um... Space Marine. The tabletop, like, war game is actually, like... I've heard it's really good. But getting miniatures and stuff and, like, painting them and setting them up is, like, a really, really money-consuming hassle. Yo, have you ever played Space Marine? No. Oh, why not? Um, It was, like, $2. I actually probably got it for free on PS3. Oh. Yeah, I looked at it and I'm, this looks really generic, so I didn't play it. It was pretty generic, but that's the point. <laughs> well, was it So fun? it's okay. Uh, I don't know how to find fun. Did you want to play more? Uh, I finished it. All right, that's good enough. It, I, it, the whole, there's no pacing. It's just like you kill shit 24-7. Oh, okay. Well, at least they're saying exactly what they are. Yeah. Oh, there's the Nintendo news that I actually wanted to talk about. Okay, um, this is going to be like a three-hour podcast. Wait, this is this is like normally how the length of our podcast <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah, he just shaves them down afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the next Nintendo thing, uh, what they're saying is that it might actually just be the regular console and there might be a handheld component to it where you can um, take the handheld part and play it separately, but they haven't exactly said how that's going to work. And... <laughs> They're they're saying that they're going to use industry leading <laughs> chips, oh, but dude, what what does that mean? Leading. What does that even really mean? That's like really vague. Industry leading in cost efficiency. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. But they are sending out their dev kits, so we will actually see some probably games for it next year. Oh, we'll see the games. I don't know if they'll yeah. release. What are we talking about again? The next Nintendo console. Oh, well, there's one more thing. Yeah. Nintendo. So um, they're making a uh, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, stop it, stop it. Yo. Nintendo, Nintendo is opening up wait, a wait, wait. program. Cool. What? I'm going to be out, guys. <laughs> All right. Hey, you got to go? Yeah, got to go back to Morristown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, peace, Shank. Peace. peace. I guess the podcast's over now, guys. Wait, no, wait, no, Everyone no. say bye. No, no. Lucas? No, no stop what? it. I, I drew another picture, guys. Uh, uh, Shashank just left. We should say bye now. No, we, no one say bye. Because <laughs> I'm going to... Wait, I think Lucas just disappeared, too. No, Lucas is still here. <laughs> See? Uh, All right, so the yeah, so, um, opening up... Oh, <laughs>
yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they're making a Ruby manga that's going to be an Ultra Jump. Well, they're also they're on. also making a game. Well, I mean, it's a very good universe for a game when you think about it. Yeah. I mean, wait, there's already been two Ruby games though. What? But all yeah, there was um Ruby, and then there was a uh, oh. Omega Ruby. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, did I steal your joke? Well, no. It's just right. I, I, I'm glad someone got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was good. So Nintendo. All right, so that's the end of the podcast, <laughs> so guys. <laughs> application for the developer program. So if you want to <laughs> get some Nintendo dev kits, you can uh, go and apply. That's all. Uh, all right, so that's the end of the podcast. All right, that's the end of the podcast. Wait, but you have to look at my drawing, though. All right, I'll, look oh, I'll take a look, too, actually. It's on page three. Page three, you say? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> is this supposed to be someone? I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait, let me see, let me see. Don't don't spoil it. Uh, it's lagging a little bit. Uh, what? What? What is that? <laughs> That's a great... <laughs> Lucas, you seem really out of it today, dude. Do you like? Do you need some rest? I'm sick. I actually really like this picture, though. But what does it mean? I don't know. What does it mean to you? Well, so I had that scribble before, right? And this was supposed to go in the scribble, but it overwrote the scribble. <laughs> so now it's just here. All right. Well, how about we let you um go die in your grave now? Hey, that's fucked up. That could what? actually happen. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> We live in the modern world. Most people are okay. Yeah, dude. Most yeah. people. Yeah. All right. Say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Well, see, now I don't want to anymore <laughs> because you were like, no, we're not going to say bye. Like, three times in a row. Well, what, what, what else is there then? Um, Arbiter 6-1. All right, bye.